transformative technology and they are leveraging the zero knowledge group to create more trustworthy and decentralized internet so in order not to waste too much of your time let's get started so the first thing we are going to try to understand is what the testnet is all about so currently um the testnet is about playing a game generating proof and submitting the proof into um uh, your terminal or your cli okay so now uh Sanders created three five groups and each group uh, has 20k uh members which we now total 100,000 members okay so they created five groups uh, weber blue echo zp and uh, blue so you have to go and check yours and see which one you belongs to so um make sure that you get that and then the testnet is being run by uh each team's turn okay so let's say it is weber turn today tomorrow is going to be blue stone so it's a turn uh is uh is a turn by turn thing okay so um currently now this uh this is today's uh, announcement uh um a few um a new zk bot was uh, created and um let's go to the testnet update okay so here we have uh an update time as some of you already suggested so uh the bot has been fixed because initially uh the game uh was changed okay so now uh, uh now currently is the weather team that is going to start and it's going to be a 24 hours a 24 hours for each um team okay so as you can see here we'll ping the next team just before 5 p.m utc and they will have exactly 24 hours to interact with the bot okay so uh, you have to make sure that you keep checking the testnet updates to know when it is your team's turn to, to participate in the testnet. Okay, so let's let's go and start um, with testnet. So the first thing we are going to do is try to create um, our code space. That is where our coding environment, our terminal. Okay, so we try to create uh, a code space. So we go to our GitHub. Once we get to our GitHub account, and the first thing to do is to create a repository. So we'll come to this place and then okay let me go back so we'll come to new yeah create a repository click here all right so i'm going to we are running soundness testnet right so soundness soundness testnet okay so then I'm going to make it a uh, private because I don't want anybody to have access to my uh, document. Okay, then I will add a readme file. So you click here and then the next thing is to create a repository. So we have successfully created our repository. So the next thing to do is to um, create a code space. So we come here to create code space and then we'll click here, create a code space. So it's a new code space. So you click select repository. What is the name of this? Uh, this is the repository we just created. Yeah, you click on it. And then we create our code space. So now um, this is this is this step is for people that are just uh, about to create that code space. Our people that maybe uh, the initial one they have has been deleted. Okay. so if you have your code space already you don't have to create a new one okay you don't have to do that so now we are here and then i will have to go back to my github so i will go back to my github and and get my uh my guide all right so this is the guide we are going to be using so I'll be dropping the guide in the description below and then so you can make use of it. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, upgrade our um, our requisite. Okay, so the first thing to do, we have to update and upgrade our uh, terminal. Now, like I said, if you have the code space available at hand, you don't have to. Again, you don't have to create a new wallet, but if you don't have your information fully, then we should go ahead and create a new wallet. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to create a new wallet. So we copy this, we go to here, and then we paste. All right. So I'm going to allow and enter. 
now if you are using your phone uh immediately you copy it or it, uh, this uh, what you copy is going to be on your clipboard so just go to your clipboard and then just drop it there okay it's not going to take a lot of, a lot of time so once you just copy it you come to uh, your terminal and then drop it in your drop it on your uh, terminal ask uh, if you are going to install the package maintainer or version so you just click one and then enter okay so we are done with that so the next thing is to go to um and this is um soundness cli okay for those that don't know cli means command line interface and this is soundness command line interface this right here you are seeing here this is the cli not here here is your terminal that you are using to interact okay so now go back and then i'll copy this and paste it here and enter so we are done with that then the next thing is to install rust and cargo so you click here and install it so it's asking if we want to proceed with standard installation customization customized installation or cancel installation so just click enter enter gives a default answer so enter Okay, so uh, we are done installing our cargo and roast. So um, the next thing is to impute our source code. Yeah, and enter. Now we come back. So the next thing is this uh, install sandness. So come here and install sandness. Okay, so we are done with the installation. So the next thing is to go to Soundness Update. Click on it. Soundness Update and paste enter. So the update has completed. So the next thing we are going to do is create our key. Now it says Soundness CLI generates name my key so now the name of your key is my key right that's it but you can choose to change it or you can choose to leave it so i'm just going to leave it like that you understand because i'm i'm i might actually forget so i'm just going to leave i just uh i just uh generated my key and then i didn't show you guys because of course my information is there but when you are trying to impute your password it's not going to show but it's typing okay so if you don't know you are not sure you can just type it somewhere copy it and paste it then enter it's there it's not going to show but it's there all right so moving forward the next thing is to check my key and make sure that everything is okay so i paste it and here is my key now the next thing we are going to do is go to our discord and make sure that um we have our key that we just generated is the same thing as the one in our discord so we go straight to our soundness cockpit here we click on it and then we use command forward slash info all right and enter now as you can see that this here is not the same thing as uh, the one i just generated yeah it's not the same thing at all okay so we are, i'm going to go back to my discord and change the information here so i'll come back here and copy this now for those of you that are using your phone it might not be easy to copy your uh your public key easily like this so just screenshot it and maybe use uh any ai at all chat gpt or grox or whatsoever actually to copy out the information okay so to copy it out for you so i'm going to control c this and go back to my discord so i'll come here and use forward slash new key because i'm adding a new key of course so you click here you click on it and then paste your key so as you can see forward slash new key and then you send enter so you see key updated successfully previous key and a new key this is my new key important your old key is no longer valid save your key and secure it so i will try to check my information again and make sure that everything is the same
all right so this is what i have here and it's the same so we are good to go all right so the next step now is to go to our game arena to play a game so we come to our game arena we click on here now we all know that the the, the bot has been updated so let's check uh we'll go to our testnet update and check again so as you all can see okay sorry we'll go to our announcement rather right go to announcement all right so as you can see here it says our brand new bot is what sound physically play that's the bot we are going to be interacting with from now on okay and you guys should remember that you don't have to send a dm to the bot anymore so you, we are going to be using everything we are going to do now is going to be on our web browser you don't have to send a dm to the bot anymore okay then for those that um have that key already before you don't have to change your key just make sure that your key tallies with the one you have in your terminal okay so let's move ahead now we go to our game arena and then we use the command because we are going we are playing eight queens okay so this is eight queens uh sound zkp we click on it and enter so as you can see our game now we are about to launch it but remember that just in case you didn't see this your own is not working that means it is not your team stone have that in mind if you didn't see this if you didn't see the game arena that means it is not your team stone so have that in mind okay so the next thing is for us to go and launch we click launch game so it's going to take us to the interface now it's going to take us to the web browser Okay, let's wait sorry now so as you can see that the interface has changed the ui has changed from the previous one okay so we can see your name here and your game id and as you can see this place is connected so the game is connected okay now um just so you know just to be upfront okay my time is reading okay but uh before we move on know that this pattern you are using for now you can use it again if you want it to read I, I, the, I don't know if you get what i'm saying you can use this pattern again so let's let, let me finish playing this one. all right so 10 moves i finished in uh, one minute efficiency 80 percent now you this the pattern i use in playing this game you can use it again so when you are playing the game next time you have to use another solution so that it can read all right so now our game has complete and it's trying to generate proof now this may take a long time but you just have to be patient because there is a lot of people on it already so you have to be very patient just make sure that you have a good network and just leave it it's going to generate because there is a long queue all right so you have to just be patient and it's going to generate so let's wait so that was fast <laughs> so i've successfully generated and uploaded my um uploaded successfully okay proof generated and uploaded, uploaded successfully so now what you're going to do now this is the sunday cli, CLI command so we'll copy this control c so before we do that we have to change our key name and if you guys remember the my the key name was my key name okay so come here and put my key name oh sorry my key sorry my key my key so that we have my key here then we'll copy this Ctrl C, we'll copy it, and then we we'll go back to here. Yeah. This is um then we we'll, we'll paste we we'll paste it here and enter. So the password, remember the password we used initially. So we are going to use the password again. And there we go guys we have successfully submit our proof successfully everything is awesome so we can use this link we can go to this link and then check it on su uh, on sui uh mainnet so that's the bit that so let's try to run it here run it here yeah and we'll see All right, so we all see that this is a success. Update proof uh, verification of results from this wallet. 
and this is all the information and this is the gas fee and like i told you like i uh, soundness are responsible for paying the gas fee we are using for this transaction okay so like we are transacting with sui mainnet direct sui mainnet direct and we are transacting with warrush so that's what the team are doing the team are doing the great job to ensure that they do the best thing for the community so kudos to the team well, and i'm glad